Madden Gods. Perfect. Welcome to Tips for Gamers. How are you guys doing today? Today we're going to talk about the top five cornerbacks to trade for in Madden 24 franchise mode. And uh, it's going to be just a great video and it's going to be a great football season it's already been a great football season it's been fantastic 70 points the dolphins posted on the the poor old broncos just break the record just do it just break the record notre dame gets beat by ohio state tough one that was a clincher for both sides my god what a game cu gets blasted absolutely just massacred cj stroud's the best quarterback from this draft and i told you I tried to tell people, but they were telling me I was crazy. And I'm telling you what, I, the dude was the X factor. I kept trying to tell people. They said my draft was crazy. Anyways, with that being said, make sure to click that notification bell and uh, subscribe if you have not already. Get into the Noti gang. What's going on? Let's light it up. All right, so the first guy on our list is going to be Nate Hobbs. Nate Hobbs is relatively easy to trade for. Two-year pro. You know, you really can't complain with this. And I got to make sure that I don't end up actually trading for him here i'm just going to show you guys on some of them show them, some will just tell you like hey it's basically the exact same thing because we don't want to waste your time other guys we're going to go into depth and kind of be like hey this is what you got to do uh, it's pretty straightforward you guys there's no reason that you shouldn't have great cornerbacks in madden it just doesn't cost enough money okay or enough draft picks right so i don't know why i offered him that um let's go i want to make sure i get a fourth round back just in case but you can see here right relatively easy now i'm gonna pad it with some guys i could bring on like you know maybe a halfback trade up a halfback and then go from there you know as you can see it's starting to build up and it's a second round pick of 2025 what do we know current year picks cost more than the next year's pick those picks cost more than the next year's picks after that if you're in hard difficulty whatever we're showing you just increase it right you got to pay more if you're in easier difficulty decrease it that simple okay so i don't need to actually make this trade go through to show you how easy dot hobbs is to trade for it's really simple to trade for him there's it, it just it won't matter what difficulty you're on he is easy in comparison and so a second round pick for a guy like this i wouldn't i wouldn't complain now he's not my favorite on this list but he's a guy if those other guys are on this list i would probably go for I would have no issue with having him. I'd rather have him than crappy cornerbacks. I mean, it's pretty simple. Okay, so Jalen Johnson is basically the same, right? Relatively the same. He's coming up on a contract as well, which is actually a beneficial thing. You can sign him, sign him cheap, and he'll build over time. He's got a star dev. He fits man zone. You can put him at hybrid safety. He has the strip ball, uh, the trait, and then the high motor as well. Inju injury stamina, all fantastic. Not the best in the world, but still acceptable. Um, decent speed, you know, real easy to trade for. I mean, really, really easy to trade for. And that's why he made it onto this list. So definitely one of the dogs on this list. I do like Asante Samuel quite a bit. Young, he's, he's got that zone, but he doesn't have the man. So you can build that man coverage up on him. And he would just be an absolute dog. His injury stamina, I love his injury stamina. You put this guy at safety, you can do a lot with him. You do have to work on his man coverage. But... Thankfully, that's not going to be the hardest thing in the entire Solarverse. So, you know, it's good. Anyways, a second round pick. This is insane. I mean, a second round pick from 2025. This pick's poop. No one wants this pick. I don't even want this pick. And they're saying, we do. And we'll give you Asante Samuel. Uh, like, obviously, I didn't get it to go through. But how hard is it to make that gap up? If I got to show you that, then let us know because then we got to do an entire breakdown which is not not a problem if you're in beginning stages 101 of trading that's fine um when we could show you that let us know we're not gonna make fun of you promise uh, we maybe will when you're not there but haha look at this guy just kidding we won't actually do that um definitely won't do that but still real easy to trade for you gotta go and get asante samuel it's just too easy they're giving you him they're saying do you want him you want him here he, here he is. So with J.C. Horn, he's relatively easy to trade for. We're going to show you another guy to trade for right after him, and it's basically the exact same thing. He's He's got a hamstring tear, so you're going to have to wait seven weeks, but that'll be week three if you start in the preseason. I guess week four, you'll be able to get him, and he'll be suited up and ready to go week four for your team. So he's still worth trading for. He's got a high motor. He's aggressive. His injury is not my, my most favorite. As you can see, he does have an injury, uh, so that does kind of suck. He's more zone coverage than he is, man. You could work on it. You could put this guy 
almost anywhere on the field when it comes to the secondary, and he's going to be fantastic. We got our boy uh, out of Northwestern here, Greg Newsom. Welcome in, Greg. Welcome in. Um, I thought Northwestern didn't produce NFL talent. What happened to that? Peter Skaronsky, Greg Newsom, plenty of other guys will tell you bull crap. The thing is, though, Northwestern, you know, I know a lot of people say, you don't got football in Northwestern, all you have is wind. But Northwestern also is very tough to get in. So I'm, I'm going to give Greg Newsom some extra credit on this because, dude, you must be, you must be smart. Uh, that is a prestigious school. They're about to upgrade their stadium to $8,800 million. But guess what? It's only going to fit 36,000 people. That's a trip. That's a trip. $800 million for 36,000 people? It looks beautiful, though. Um, anyways, trading for him. I mean, if we talk, we can talk about his speed all day and talk about not even just his speed, but I'm just talking about him in general. Um, good injury, stamina, awareness, blah, 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 blah. Good, high motor. There's a lot to like about him. You know, he's, he's a solid player. Trading for him is this guy is a guy you got to just go and get, right? I have a crappy second round pick. Like, my pick sucks. If you have a green interest pick, boy, oh boy. I mean, welcome to the Thunderdome. Or as they would say in Northwestern, the bleachers and wind. Because that's what it's like playing in that stadium. It is windy. It is a lot of bleachers. And, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, um, throwing KJ Osborne. I just threw a guy up there. You know, as you can see, trading for him is like, it's very simple. Like a second round pick for this dude? Pick 54. Let's. Are you kidding me? A wide receiver. You know how easy wide receivers are to get in the draft? Are you kidding me right now? You can go get one on free agency that's not even that far off of Osborne. I mean, Christ's sake, you got to trade for this dude. I mean, he's a blessed soul, and uh, he's smart as hell. So next up, we got Mr. Woolen. Had to put him on the list because, dear God and baby Jesus, this guy's speed is so fast. This dude could take a crap, and he could be out the room before the smell hits you. And, I mean, dear Lord, he, he doesn't even need to mail shit. He can just be like, be right there. Oh, you're three states away? Gotcha be there at five like my lord just 98 speed Woo! but here's the thing i want you to explain this for one his his zone coverage is great his man coverage is if you put him at a safety and and he was covering deep dear god yeah i don't know how you're gonna throw a deep bomb on him i mean he'd be like whispering in your ears you're running like you thought you got away and you'd be like what the hell but his agility, why is your agility in 87? That's what I want to know. I don't get that. Come on, Madden. At 98 speed, 96 excel, 87 agility? That's a crime to America. Absolute disgusting. Doesn't have strength. He can't block shed worth a damn, but I don't care. Injury stamina, great. Amazing. You know what? Trading for him, too, is just a cupcake central. It's, it's like Georgia's football schedule this year in Michigan's. It's easy. Yeah, this was very, very easy. As you guys can see here, using our first round pick, using two halfbacks, and then a seventh round pick. Remember, use a second round pick. Go from there if you guys can. If you have a good second round pick, start with that and, and then work your way up. Ladder trade. Um, because then you can get Woolen. And, uh, you know, you're just going to have a really fast dude who's lights out. So we got our boy Tyson Campbell, the man of the hour. Uh, the dude is a dog. Think about it this way. If you could trade for him relatively easy, that would be so beneficial to your team because in reality, you can get this guy for, for basically a first-round pick. We'll show you. But he's a two-year pro. He's 23 years old. He came into the league super young, got some decent height to him. The thing about him is, you know, he's just solid across the board, right? I don't like his agility. I like his man coverage, zone coverage. Guy can play safety. He could be a hybrid safety. He could play anywhere. I wouldn't put him in safety, though, because he's just too good. Uh, you got to keep him in a corner. But his base injury is a 90. His base stamina is a 93. That is phenomenal. Okay, absolutely phenomenal. So, all in all, this is a guy that if you can get with just one first-round pick, and if it's a late first-round pick, phew, I don't know how that's not worth it. I really don't. Because trying to make a guy this good within two years is not the easiest task. It, depending on when you draft him, how good he is, and, and you also have to be somewhat fortunate in the draft. So I would say that this guy is worth a first-round pick because Tyson Campbell is going to get better, and he's right on that verge of being elite or kind of being, you know, hey, you're great, possibly you're really good, um, or being elite. Like, he's right on that verge. So to trade for Campbell... 
I would use a first round pick of this year. And and no, if your difficulty is harder, just magnify this, right? If it's not as hard, if it's less, because we're on normal, then just obviously go down from there. So I would use a first round pick. And then if you had to use other picks, use later year picks like 2026 or something, because it's easier to replace them. You don't want to wipe yourself out in the first season. You just don't want to do that. Okay, so there's that. And then using players. Halfbacks are great. Okay, he's not at Madison's a normal depth. So it's pretty easy to, to use a halfback because you can just get him on free agency like crazy, right? And then a D tackle that's 70 overall, nothing really that special. And if you were to think about it, trading a first round pick for this guy, especially if it was pick 24, I mean, dear God, I would do that all day. That's that's a no brainer to me because trying to get a guy who's a 20, uh, you know, a 24th overall first round pick to turn into Campbell's not going to be the easiest thing. You know, it depends on your XP sliders, what have you, you name it. Anyways, trading for him is not the most difficult thing to do. And it's something you guys should take advantage of before his overall increase.